<laughs> we have just finished that task and unfortunately we didn't manage to get anything. I'm going to go ahead and get myself a new task now. And I'm hoping that we can either get some Abyssal Demons, Aviances or Black Demons for some Zenites. Lovely. 204 Abyssal Demons. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm very happy to see that. I was actually just checking my log just now to see how many kills we've done so far in this challenge. And we have done 1,564. And in that time, that is the second whip we've had. So we were overdo it. And uh, we could potentially get another whip this task if our RNG actually plays out. We can now make one of our whips into a Kraken Tentacle, which is going to be very nice when it comes to Bandol. Ooh, hoo -hoo, that's nice. That's really nice. We have just finished ourselves our Abyssal Demon task. We only got the one whip. We also got ourselves a Dark Totem, Dark Totem Base, and two shards, which was very nice. Uh, we do have 201 Greater Demons, which is really sick to see. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, is I'm going to go kill Skatizo real quick, at the chance of getting the pet, get a few more shards, and go to Zami. Here you go, guys, making ourselves our first Kraken Tente Clay of the series if we can equip it there you go that is going to be very nice when it comes to bandos the stats on it are absolutely insane both on the attack bonuses and also the strength plus another attempt at skatizo do we get anything good anything at all what do we get ancient shard and runei bars not too bad <laughs> yes 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 i am very happy to see that have myself a Zamorok Sphere now. My goodness, that looks absolutely beautiful. I'm tempted to make it into a Hasta. I'm not sure I may keep it as a Spear for now. I could definitely do with a second one. But by God, am I happy to see that. We have 170 Greater Demons to kill. However, I am done with Zami now because I have my Zamorok Spear. I basically have everything that I actually need to get from Zami. As you can see, we could obviously do with another Zami Spear so we could make it into a Hasta. But for now, I'm going to leave it at that until I actually need a Hasta. And I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get some Zenites. We have ourselves a hard casket here. Really hoping we can get something good because so far we've had literal garbage. Let's take a look. What do we get? 335k. Not a bad clue scroll. Nothing that I actually need. But hey ho. It's 330k. 144 black demons. Slightly low. However, that is about halfway of a chance of getting a Xenite Shard, so hopefully we can get lucky. Fingers crossed. Okay, so this guy won't shut up. Yeah, this guy's just got four Xenite Shards, two being back-to-back -back in the 10 minutes that I've been here. He's made 50 mil. Congrats, man. That is some crazy RNG. We've just done our first inventory at Black Demons. We still have 91 left to go. And I quickly want to just do a quick little price check on all of this loot because we are pretty damn lucky considering the fact we didn't actually get a Zenite. And there you have it guys, 780k from one inventory at Gorilla. We didn't manage to get ourselves a Zenite shard. I am going to go back with my Slayer Cape and see if we can get back to back tasks. If not, we're probably just going to keep skipping until we do. After trying to get a task for about 30 minutes and failing to get Black Demons, I kind of thought to myself... What am I doing? There's only one thing that I actually need to do now, and there's only one thing left for me to get, and that is Zenites. I need to get myself a Necklace of Anguish and also a Ring of Suffering. Other than that, I require literally nothing, and seeing as how I can actually go and kill demonic gorillas without being on task, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, cigarettes aren't the problem. Yes, boys! I am very happy to see that. Just as Dandy gets online... The first Zenite Shard. And I have enough Chaos Runes to get myself another Onyx as well. I'm going to tell you the fuck out of here. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. I'm probably going to get a few comments saying I'm a complete noob for this. But yes, we are just completing the easy diary for Karamja. So now we can buy our Onyx for slightly cheaper and also sell the Chaos Runes for slightly more. Saving me some chaos room now. I have decided I will commentate over the next few clips because I realized in the recording uh, My girlfriend was actually taking the shower which is actually in the same room I record sadly and no I don't record in the shower, but it's literally just right next to me uh, So there's a lot of static so I thought I'd just quickly talk over the top So as you can see we did manage to buy ourselves an Uncarnix for only 260,000 tockle with just under 6,000 chaos runes to spare 
Now, because I don't currently have the crafting level to be able to craft myself the Ring of Suffering or any Xenite Jewelry for that matter, I decided it would be fair if I was to go ahead and basically sell the Xenite and also sell the Onyx in the Grand Exchange and simply buy back the Ring of Suffering. It pretty much worked out at about the same price. I had to actually pour about 100k GP of my own money into this. But as you can see, the Ring of Suffering has been acquired. In fashion of having myself my newly acquired Ring of Suffering, I'm gonna go ahead and go and kill some Zara and just see how much of an effect this ring really has. Okay then fellas, so as you can see, I am currently a Zora testing out the new Ring of Suffering and the Blowpipe. Bear in mind, this is the first time I've used the Blowpipe in this series and oh my god, it is just uncomparable to the Rune Crossbow. This literally shaves off up to a minute a kill pretty much every single kill, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping that we can either get a Magic Fang or an Onyx, and a Serpentine Helm would obviously be like the best thing we can get right now. I'll be back with either a loot or a bank check at the end of this grind. As you can see, we currently have a 48.6 mil loot tab, and I haven't sold anything from the Gorillas, uh, nothing from the Kraken Tasks, and also from the Zoras that I just killed. I reckon I just killed them for about three or four hours. Uh, so yeah, the tabs came along quite nicely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sweep through this. Sell all the items which aren't rare uniques. And see how much money we can make. So I've just ended up selling everything off. And we've got ourselves a 24 mil cash stack. Which is going to add up very nicely with our 11 mil. 35 more cash, which is going to allow us to buy some nice supplies, more black chin chompers to complete armadillo and also saradoman trips. Just got ourselves enough points to imbue both of our rings right now. The archer's ring and also the ring of suffering, which is very nice to actually have done. I noticed that a lot of you were typing in the comments, please imbue the rings. There you go, guys. I've imbued both of the rings which needed imbued. And, um, yeah, I'm at the point now where I'm actually undecided what ring would be better to take to both Armadillo and to Saradoman. Now, I believe the Archer Ring imbued would be better for Saradoman, seems as you can actually avoid most of the damage, giving me a better DPS. And I feel like the Ring of Suffering would be better at Armadillo, because obviously you can actually avoid the damage there. So if you guys have any opinions or thoughts on that, if you want to let me know down in the comments, I'd greatly appreciate it. In case you guys were wondering what the stats are on the Ring of Suffering imbued, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea. Plus 20 defense in everything, it has no offensive stats, and it also gives 4 prayer bonus, compared to the Archer Ring, which actually gives 8 plus range plus and only 8 range defense. Pretty scuffed gear, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I feel like the bonuses are actually half decent. I'm gonna go see how this trip goes in this gear. I don't have a Serpentine Helm or a Virax Helm, but hopefully we can manage to get some kills. I'm really hoping that I can get an Armadillo piece. Like, the whole goal here is to try and skip the Kauril's armor and go straight to Armadillo and just fucking skip over. 71 Armadillo kills. Uh, incredibly good, considering the gear and also the fact we're not even on task right now. 500 chins down. Let's do another trip. Another trip done. Kind of painful at this point. We still haven't managed to even get a shard. I think we've done three or four trips to Armadillo in this video alone. I am literally determined to get a piece, so I will stay here until I at least get one decent drop. Huh. That's just fantastic. Oh, fuck. We just got a Godsword shard. And that is Godsword shard one. Now, I have a funny feeling... That is the only shard that we need to complete our first Godsword. It's that moment of truth. Is the Godsword shard one the one that we needed? Oh my god. What on earth. We, I, I'm actually speechless right now. We didn't get any duplicates whatsoever. We have all of the blades. And we also have ourselves a hilt for our first Godsword. Time to make our ancient sword, the god sword. I've just got to use this with this now, I believe. And the final part, connecting the two together. There you have it, our very first god sword of the series. 
Holy hell. If we get any other hilts, it means I can just dismantle this one and I can go ahead and throw the new one on the Godsword Blade. Like actual armor piece? <gasps> no! What the fuck? Oh my- Dude! That was off a minion! That was just off a fucking minion! Are you kidding me? What the fuck? What the actual fuck just happened? Oh my god, I'm so glad I was recording. What on earth just happened? For those of you that are wondering how rare that is, to get that off a minion, that is one in 5,400 chance of receiving that from a minion. And look how much it is. Oh my god. I'm I'm actually in disbelief that just happened. I thought I got a shard or something. Holy shit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly why you always kill the minions before you tally out. That drop alone has taken our bank to over 200 mil right now. God damn. Oh my god. Do you know what? I'm not gonna complain because I've had the armadillo chest plate from a minion. But let's just say if I didn't get this chest plate, I would be very salty right now. Alright guys, so if you have managed to watch the video up until this point, a thank you, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you guys are wondering what's actually playing in the background right now, do not worry. This money that I was staking was money that was actually on my pure account. It has absolutely nothing to do with this series whatsoever. It just so happens that I staked it on Rakesy because it is the only other account that I own. And before I actually talk about what I want to talk about, uh, yeah, just just watch me uh, get scams by this guy for a Saradome and Godsword. I'm an idiot. I haven't staked since the last time I did the one bill one week challenge where I had to stake almost 500 mil as the forfeit. So yes, I did get scammed. This guy somehow managed to get food option on. I honestly think he had it on the entire time. I just didn't notice it. But I'm not familiar with the interface, so I literally fell for this like an absolute pleb. So... Fair play to him. Kind of deserves to scam me. Kind of a scummy thing to do. But hey ho, we did manage to redeem ourselves. Uh, after I lost the the Sour Demon God Sword, I decided I would go in for a 200 mil stick. Probably one of the stupidest things I've done in a very long time. And I do have to blame Spark Mac because I watched his stream the other day when he actually made like something like 30 bill. And I'm not gonna lie, the the staker inside of me it started to like perk up a little bit. It's a bad times. Unfortunately, something kind of bad happened uh, again during this stake. Um, don't really want to talk about it. Saik, we actually won. We won the 200 mil stake. Uh, very happy to get myself my SGS back that I just got scanned for, and also some extra crash on top of that. Now, moving on to what I actually wanted to talk about. So uh, basically, I promised a while ago that I was going to be doing. A, uh, a five bond giveaway and it didn't actually happen just because a load of stuff happened around the time and to be completely honest I just straight up forgot which is really bad of me um, but in celebration of winning the 200 mil what I have decided to do is I'm gonna pick 10 winners from this video and those 10 people will receive a bond entering the giveaway all you have to do is like the video and leave me a comment with your runescape name and i will pick 10 people to win their bonds if your comment makes me laugh then there's probably a higher likelihood of you actually winning a bond bear that in mind guys i hope that you enjoyed today's video make sure you leave it a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video today and make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel with that being said guys i will see you very soon.